All right. Um, I'm not seeing any questions at the moment, um, but I might have to email you with some uh, later when I get a second. Um, but in the meantime, um, I would like to introduce our last minute speaker. So thank you all for hanging on. Um, his name is Max Hausler. Uh, I hope I pronounced that right, probably not. Um, from University of California at Santa Cruz. Um, and he's going to tell you a little bit about what they've been doing um, with the UCSC genome browser and uh, Usher and file a place. So Max, feel free to take it away. Um, yes. Um, can, you, can, can you share your screen uh, uh, in the browser? Uh, uh, when I... Sure. Have you sent me slides or links? Um, otherwise, I'll just uh, very quickly genome.ucsc.edu. Um, if you go to genome.ucs.edu and um, search, go to genome browser and search for monkeypox there, then there is a brand new monkeypox browser. And um, the only annotations we have are the PCR primers from the sequencing panel that people talked about, and uh, the NCBI protein annotations right now. Um, I'm adding the lineage defining mutations that were also mentioned before in the next train talk. Hold on one and second. Um, let me share my screen. I think we'll be sharing. Um... And I've emailed Gustavo for these uh, repeats. There are basic repeats on there from various repeat finders that we run. And exactly. Right. So That's you perfect. should be able yeah, to see my screen now. Exactly. Um, if you go to the genome browser and then, and then you search monkeypox there. So this is just like exactly. Okay. And that's the standard thing. And uh, is that the rivers? Yes. Yeah. Um, um, the primal seek primers are already there. So the sequencing uh, in, in the chat that was talk about this, um, there's another set that uh, I'm just adding um, in, in to tomorrow. And there's a couple other annotations that are coming up, like these lineage defining mutations. There's a chains and nets which shows you these ITRs that were also inverted terminal repeats if you switch on the monkey pox chains and nets. And I guess people who know the genome browser, I don't have to say anything. There's black where you can do very quick one second sequence searches in the tools menu and um, what else? Um, let's click refresh to any one of those many, there's a lot of refresh buttons that will show the track. And in the custom track box, you can add URLs to your own BAM or BAM files, BAM files, if you have sequencing files. And then um, for those people who have used Usher before, Angie Hingrix is here in the chat. Um, there is a version that when you go to the, if you Google for Usher UCSC Genome Browser, then there is a, a drop down box now where you can do just as you did with SARS CoV 2, a uh, monkeypox tree based work that redirects to next train. Exactly. Exactly here. Uh, you can click the upload example file. There's a button next to upload on that page that you just had, and it shows you the, the standard. Usher interface where you see your uploaded sequence, its neighborhood, and then view the little neighborhood tree of your uploaded sequence um, on next train. I just wanted to mention that very quickly, and my email, Angie Hingrix is here in the chat. She can ask answers, so she can uh, reply to questions on that, and then my email address is in the chat. If you have any ideas on genome annotations we should add uh, for monkey pokes, let me know. Thank you very much, and thanks for the 173 people <laughs> who are still here. This is this is a, this was an amazing webinar that so many people for so long. Thanks a lot. Apologies for the last minute addition, but um, I think these resources will be very interesting to people doing these analyses, and I will include the links in uh, the follow up emails that I send out. Um, and if there is no more questions, then I will just thank all of our presenters and all of our participants for asking such insightful questions. Um, 
this was a challenge to organize, but also such a pleasure. Um, thank you all so much for participating. Um, and we will send out a follow up email with recordings, um, slides and any other um, information that we can pass along from our presenters. Um, thank you all and have a fantastic day or evening.